Let's have a look at a crucial electric fields problem in A-level physics. We have two identical spheres. Both of them have a charge of minus four nanocoulombs, and they also have a mass of six times 10 to the negative five kilograms. They're connected with a string and they are at rest in this configuration. What we need to do is figure out the angle theta. Okay, well, what is actually happening in this problem? How are the forces balanced? First of all, there's gonna be three forces that are acting on each individual sphere. We are going to have its weight that's going to be pointing straight downwards, and we're gonna call this one mg. We're also going to have an electrical repulsion force because this sphere is negative and this one here is negative, as gonna be a vector across here. I'm gonna call this one F. E. Now, if they're not moving, there's a third force acting, and that is the tension. Its components will have to balance out those two forces if the whole assembly is to be stationary. This means that in practice that I can simply resolve the tension into two components. One will be acting up here, and then another one will be acting up here. This one here will be balancing out the force of the weight acting downwards. Let's just draw them so that they're more similar in size. And this one here will be balancing the electrical repulsion. A good tip for these types of problems is that whenever you see a similar diagram, you're gonna have to use some trigonometry most likely. So I'm gonna use one of my favorite trig functions and this is tan. Tan of theta is equal to the opposite divided by the adjacent. Now, our opposite component will simply be equal in magnitude to the electrical force, which is going to be given by Q. Actually, let's leave that in lowercase later. So it'll be Q multiplied by Q divided by 4 pi epsilon naught and then multiplied by the distance between them squared. This is just the Coulomb repulsive force. Then we're going to be dividing that by the adjacent and this component here will be equal in magnitude to the weight so the charge is just gonna be 4.0 times 10 to the power of minus nine, then I'm gonna be essentially squaring that. Then I'm gonna be dividing this by four pi times 8.85 times 10 to the power of minus 12, that's epsilon naught. And then I'm gonna be multiplying this by r. Now r is the distance between the two spheres, which is two centimeters, and I need to square this. One of the most common mistakes in level physics or in physics in general is to forget to carry a square. So we're not gonna forget that. So I'm gonna say 0 0.02, which is two centimeters in meters squared. Then I'm going to be dividing that by mg, which is just gonna be 6.0 times 10 to the power minus five multiplied by 9.81. Now this here is equal to the tangent of theta. What I really need to put into my calculator is inverse tan of theta of all of this expression. And if I put this into the calculator, I am going to get approximately 31 degrees up to two significant figures. Hopefully this video has been useful for another very, very important question on electric fields. Well, you need to click right over here and enjoy.